green book that's level two and this is called this and that so that's the capital t -t -t. but when it's together with this guy stick your tongue out t -t -t. this and that and again it's by julia donaldson and i'm allowed to read this by oxford university press okay so we look at the picture here looks like this boy is going shopping let's have a look now again the usual there are lots of little ideas here that you can play and again in the back okay so you can pause the video on either of those and have a go so here we look at the picture and scan oh this word is mister it's kind of like a short word it's not really the full word it's just short mister when you see m and er, m er it's mister this is Mr. Chan's shop. So again, if you were to put the lasso around there, actually, do you know what? I have a pencil. You may put a little lasso around here. Whose shop is it? It's Mr. Chan's shop. So that's kind of what that is. It's like the start of a lasso, like a, a cowboy. So. This is Mr. Chan's shop, so I guess this must be Mr. Chan. Now here we have the picture here. Still don't know, if we, we don't know this boy's name or this boy's name. Let's have a go. Scanning, oh, what do we see here? Scanning the sentence. Okay. Mr. Chan sells pens, pads, and maps. So there's a pause there, you see that? So that's actually in place of another and. Instead of saying pens and pads and maps, they've done a pause. Mr. Chan sells pens, pads and maps. So if you have trouble using reading the pens, just cover the S. Pe, pen, pens. Same for all the other ones, okay? So Mr. Chan sells pens, pads and maps. So the little pause there with the comma. And what have we got here? Scan along. Tim is in Mr. Chan's shop. And again, whose shop is it? It's Mr. Chan's shop. So this boy is called Tim. Tim is his name. Tim is in Mr. Chan's shop. So here we have Tim and here we have Mr. Chan. So try and remember those names. It makes it easier for you when you're reading your sentences. They might pop up again. Oh, and here's a speech bubble, so we know Tim is talking. He's asking a question. What's he, what do you think he might be asking about? What's he pointing at? He has some money. What do you think he wants to do? Can I have that pen? Can I have that pen? So he's asking, can he have the pen? So well, obviously he has to buy it and he has money in his hand. What does Mr. Chan say? Yes, Tim. Yes, Tim. Of course he can. He owns a shop. He wants to sell his pen, doesn't he? Yes, Tim. So here we have another lady. She looks like the shopkeeper and a woman in shopping. What kind of a shop has she got? Okay. Oh, this is Miss. Miss. Miss is another uh, word like Mr. and Miss. So a man is always called Mr. Sometimes a woman is called Miss. This is Miss Tin's shop. So again, now I know we shouldn't be writing on books, but I'm just using it to show you. I'm going very lightly. Whose shop is it? It's Miss Tin's shop. There isn't, there aren't two Miss Tins. There isn't a one Miss Tin here, another one here. There's just one Miss Tin. And the reason why we have this S is because it's her shop. It's Miss Tin's shop. Okay. Scan over here. Miss Tin sells eggs, nuts, and carrots. Now, if you were looking around the picture at the start there, you would have spotted eggs. I wonder, can I see nuts? Are these nuts? And then these are carrots. Eggs, nuts, and carrots. Again, if you have trouble with this at the end, just cover it over. Egg. The two g sounds the same. They say the same thing. It's not an egg. G -g. It's just an egg. S eggs. Okay. 
just cover it over. And here again, ca er car a carrot carrot carrots. Okay, so take your time, use your fingers. Now off we go again. Oh, who's this guy? He's Tim, isn't he? And this is Miss Tin. So remember those names if they help you with your reading. Tim is in Miss Tin's shop. Whose shop? Miss Tin's shop. Tim is in Miss Tin's shop. So he's going around lots of different shops. Wonder what he wants to buy here. Maybe something here. Wonder. Now here, here we have. Oh, he's t he's doing some talking because that's called a speech bubble. Speech means he's speaking. So it's coming out of his mouth. And then she's going to make a, a reply. So I wonder is he asking a question? He is. Look, there's the question mark. Now I'll scan along. And I know I have to put on Tim's voice. Can I have some carrots? Can I have some carrots? Because I have to put on his voice because he's doing the talk. And now I have to put on Miss Tin's voice because she's doing the talk. Yes, Tim. Yes, Tim. Okay, so enjoy putting on uh, a voice. Look, they sound silly, so what? It's a bit of fun, isn't it? And we'll leave that there for part one.